This is a preview of the paper Wireless Access in Ultra Reliable Low Latency Communication URLLC. URLLC is about enabling reliable real time remote interactions to wireless connectivity among humans, machines, and robots with very stringent latency and reliability requirements. There are two generic use cases of URLC. The first one is cable replacement, where we are looking into an existing system that uses wired connections and ask what are the benefits and the design principles to replace those wired connections with wireless. For the native wireless use cases, we look into completely new systems that can emerge by making use of wireless connectivity, such as uh, connected vehicles, humans that control robots in real time or similar. In order to introduce the communication theoretic principles of URLC, we start from a simple link model where X is the transmitted signal, Y is the received signal, alpha is the user activity, which is equal to one if the user is active and zero otherwise, H is the channel state, Z is the noise and W is the interference. The objective is to find whether the user is active and if the user is active, to find the data that the user is transmitting. A convenient way to characterize latency and reliability is through the probability of receiving a certain data packet uh, until a certain time. And this blue curve is a latency reliability characteristics of a system which is not meeting the requirements in terms of uh, deadline and reliability. And the objective is to improve the system and make it operate according to the red curve that is meeting these requirements. And this can be done through in the introduction of diversity in time, coding, frequency, antennas, multiple interfaces. In order to understand the fundamental trade-offs, we look into the uh, Shannon's one-way communication model in which we fix the latency to T, fix the data size to D, which is determining the minimal uh, data rate in terms of bits per second that the system should support. Then we fix the bandwidth to B, and fixing the bandwidth, we are determining what is the data rate in terms of bits per symbol. Then we are fixing the energy spent in T, which is going to fix the SNR at which the signal is received. And based on all this, using the finite block length theory, we can find what is the maximum reliability that can be achieved for a given transmission. In order to model protocol information, we need to extend Shannon's one-way communication model to two-way communication model because in ultra-reliable low-latency communication, we normally expect acknowledgement from the receiver for the received data. Hence, the system should support transmission of protocol information. And finally, both control and data are transmitted through the wireless channel and they have to be reliably received. In the paper, we are presenting the challenges of access networking and the impact of protocol steps on latency and reliability. Then the massive MIMO technology as an enabler of high reliability with the associated challenges of uh, channel estimation. Finally, we are presenting the fundamental question of assessing ultra reliability when Alice wants to sell ultra reliability to Bob. And she has the questions about how to measure the reliability performance and how to guarantee it. Therefore, machine learning is an essential tool for guaranteeing ultra reliability and it contains three elements model selection, learning and training in a given communication environment, and then performance evaluation that is capable of communicating the uncertainty of the training process. In order to find out more about these topics, I recommend you to check the paper Wireless Access in Ultra-Reliable Low Latency Communication, published in IEEE Transactions and Communications.